What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So we're gonna take a look at the, the system info tweak, which is a pretty awesome tweak. Now, if we go ahead and jump into Zebra, this is the package you will need to install here. It is from a repo and I'll leave the repo listed in the description is the ARX 8X repo there. Um, so in this repo, just go to tweaks and then go to system info and just go ahead and install this tweak. Now, uh, this tweak is incredibly functional in my opinion. It allows you to do a lot of stuff. You can basically view anything about your iPhone in terms of system wise within settings. It also lets you save blobs, which is really useful and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into settings and show you what this tweak does. I think it's super functional and I would highly recommend you guys to check it out. Uh, so if we go into general and about, this is where system info can be found or at least some of it. It does do things to other places and settings, but if we go into about, um, you guys will see here that it allows you to do a lot more stuff in this section and see basically everything you need to know about your iPhone. So first off in the application section, you can actually go into an application and get all of the information about that app that is on your iPhone. So it's ID, uh, you can copy this ID as well. So as you can see, I can copy the bundle ID if I want directly from this. So if you're a theme creator, this is pretty useful. It shows you the version, the bundle version, the genre, so on and so forth. Everything you need to know about that application in terms of information, you can see here. And uh, like I said, most of this, you can just copy and paste it. You also have shortcuts to the application containers. Uh, so you have your application container and your, your data container, which will launch files uh, if you guys have that installed. So you can go into like Apollo here into Apollo.app and here is all of the uh, application data. Pretty damn sweet. This must be a new icon. Um, but you can do that for basically all of this, all of your applications. So like Carrot, same thing. If I wanted any information about that, you can see the plugins and all of that, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it does beef up the applications uh, section here quite a bit. Now, once you go below there, as you can see, you have your system info section with the header there in settings and you can see anything you want about your iphone uh, the serial numbers the free memory in terms of ram uh, how many packages are installed on your iphone so this list you can actually copy so you can copy and paste all of the packages you have installed from Cydia or Cilio. Uh, you can cycle through this too by clicking on it so you can see tweaks libraries how many themes you have, how many utilities, development, snowboard extensions, administration, add-ons, networking, so on and so forth. You can cycle through this to see exactly what is installed on your iPhone. Now, like I said, you can copy this list and paste it, and I've done that here in Noto. So I did a full package copy and paste into Noto, and I can see all of the different packages installed and what version they're on. So if you guys ever wanted to share all of the packages, the tweaks, the themes on your iPhone, you could use this tweak to do so, which is pretty cool. Uh, you also have the ability, like I said, to save blobs. So you can swipe on ECID and you can save your SHSH2 blobs. Now I've already done this, so it's not gonna let me do it, but uh, it does save it to, I think, SHSH.host. Yeah, so right here are my blobs that I saved with system info. Um, of course, I can access the blob by clicking on it like for 14.6. Uh, I could download it from the file option there. And, and I've saved it for basically all signed versions currently, so 14.7 and even iOS 15 betas. So I have saved the blobs for those. Uh, I just saved them all from system info. You have your UDID, your boot nonce, your battery capacity, battery serial, battery cycles. It just goes on and on. So. Uh, you basically can view any of this. And another cool thing is most of this stuff you can actually click and hold on and then you can copy it. So if you ever need to copy and paste your device model, you can do so. Now I've already copied and pasted it in here. So as you can see, if I just go ahead and click paste now, it will paste uh, my device model. So super functional and it just keeps going on and on. It tells you your, your CPU temperature, CPU one, CPU two, so on and so forth. So a ton of info in the about section. 
Uh, you also can go into iPhone storage and it shows you your partitions for your memory down at the bottom here. So there you go. As you can see, here is a partition um, container. So this has data system, uh, update, baseband data, hardware, preboot, so on and so forth. It shows you these. Now I don't have anything in these other partitions. So I don't really know what the partitioning is for. Um, I'm sure that's probably a developer thing. Um, what else does it do? So if we back up out of general, we can go to display and brightness. It shows you your brightness in nits, the power, which is pretty cool. You have your display resolution. So you can actually change your display resolution with this tweak. So if you want to bump the resolution up, you can do so. Um, just take note that uh, there is some info at the bottom here. As you can see, you're gonna wanna be able to SSH into your iPhone or know how to in case an issue happens. Uh, so just take note on that. If you're gonna mess with the resolution, just make sure you know how to run commands in SSH so that you could fix your iPhone if it ever causes an issue, which it, it could very well cause an issue. Um, also, if we go into the battery section here, it gives us this kind of battery level graph here. So uh, I think if, if you have an iPhone uh, that isn't supported for this or something, you get the battery graph that you can swipe through. It's a little different than the battery graph down here, the stock one, so it is a little different. Uh, but it does cho show total drain, active usage, background usage. And then it also breaks down the usage in terms of apps and also daemons. So if you guys are suffering from terrible battery drain and you think it's because of a, a tweak or a daemon, this could help you figure out what is draining your battery because it will show um, the daemons as well, which is pretty damn sweet. Now you can get further into this and you can 3D touch on it and open it up here. And as you can see, it breaks down the details of what it's doing in terms of battery. So pretty freaking cool that you can view all of that. Like I said, this adds just a ton of info uh, that you can view. I think there's even actually, let me go back into battery here. If I swipe down further, there's, yeah, your, your capacity, it shows your battery health, um, your battery serial, the current temperature, the cycles, instant amperage, voltage. It just really breaks everything down. So very, very functional tweak. I think that's most of it. There might be some other little features here and there that I forgot about, but it really beefs up your settings application to allow you to see everything you need to know about your iPhone, which is super cool. Now, like I said, I'll leave the repo listed down in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tweak review. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.